Salt has been key to human survival from prehistoric times to the modern day. It has worked its way into common phrases. We say someone is worth their salt because it was used to pay Roman soldiers, and that's where we get the term salary. Salt has been used for millennia to preserve food. Now we want to use it to preserve the environment. The mission of the Molten Salts and Extreme Environments EFRC is to study the fundamental properties of molten salts so that they can be deployed in molten salt reactors, which will be a new generation of reactors that will be safer, more efficient, and modular so that they can be used in many places around the world. Molten salts are essentially just the rock salt, the table salt that you have sitting on your uh, table, that you put on your French fries. The difference is that what we're doing is taking it to a high temperature where it changes from a solid to a fluid. And what we're going to do is use these fluids as the heat transport mechanism inside the reactor. They can operate at atmospheric pressure and therefore you don't need anything like a stronger containment vessel. This is going to save money. It's going to help drive down the costs of constructing the reactors. My role here at Idaho National Laboratory is to look at the structure and speciation of molten salts. So what happens to a molten salt when it's inside a reactor? How does the chemistry of that salt change when you're bombarding it with high energy particles. Oak Ridge's uh, role in the EFRC is to oversee the synthesis and purification of all of the salts. One of the problems in this project is obtaining non-contaminated salts. And my role is to provide all of the ultra-purified salts for the project. My role at the EFRC is being uh, understanding the interface between the metal and the molten salt, in particular under the corrosion environment of the extreme high temperatures of the molten salt using X-ray imaging technique, specifically the nanotomography technique here at the light source. We're building a mechanistic understanding of the corrosion processes for metals in a molten salt nuclear reactor. Different institutions excel in X-rays of neutrons, in working with actinides, in working under extreme conditions, and also doing computer simulations of all these molten salts and their interactions with materials. The simulation work we're doing is helping understand the systems and we're also trying to understand how to produce better models that will better reproduce uh, the experimental findings of our colleagues. Our role is really to uh, provide information at the atomic level that helps our experimental colleagues and the other institutions develop an understanding of the, the physical properties of these, these materials. My hope is that we'll be able to use these faster simulations to be able to increase the range of molten salts that we're able to investigate. There are still lots of challenges associated with molten salts and nuclear reactors, and that's why we're doing this underpinning science. This work requires the talents of many institutions because no single institution has the expertise required to tackle this problem. What really drives me is to see the impact, how we can foster really the next generation of the scientists having this open-minded mindset when they come to doing scientific research. Mm -hmm.